like I was into the running and the jumping. But then later on, I think I was about 12 or 13, I started training with a coach and he got me to try hammer and then kind of from there I got a bit, bit more into the throws. I think it's quite expressive. Um, I just like enjoy getting in the circle. It's like my happy place, I guess. To qualify, I had to throw 72 and a half metres, uh, which I actually did in September um, when I threw the records. I threw 73.47, so almost a metre over it, um, but the qualifying period was shut down from March till December, so um, I had to do it again. So I did it at my second competition in December. So probably <laughs> one of the weirdest ways to qualify for my first Olympics, I guess, but yeah, we've got it done. Before lockdown, I was working about 25 hours a week plus training on top of that. Um, I quit one of my jobs um, expecting to be overseas um, about May and then suddenly we were put in lockdown so I was left without that job and suddenly I was in a position where I was like really just full-time athlete which I hadn't been in before because I'd been working or had uni on. Um, so yeah we kind of made yeah managed to make the most of it. Um, I just trained and ate and slept kind of thing and made some really big improvements so I guess it kind of changed things a little bit for us going forward. Um, seen how much benefit that had. I just want to find out how like how far I can throw and just yeah keep pushing I guess the boundaries of what I've got to give. Um, I think we're not really even tapping into it that much yet. Um, so yeah just yeah throw as far as I can. <laughs>